Hi, this is Papa Jim. This is uh, my second children's lesson on uh, piano. Today, I want to introduce you to um, introduce you to uh, what I call the pinky and the thumb. It's a simple exercise. These are all geared for kids, so uh, keep that in mind. As an adult player, we're going to learn things differently than kids do. But this is a nice way to introduce uh, kids to uh, using uh, the rooted uh, notes as either with the pinky or the thumb, depending on your position. Right now, my middle C with my thumb, and my span go on the pinky goes to uh, C2, the next C up from middle C. So, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb. It's kind of hokey, but uh, or corny for kids, but it's uh, it's fun. It entertains them. I'm going to root my uh, thumb on the middle C, and then I'm going to take my uh, pinky down to uh, the C below middle C. Pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb, pinky, thumb. You can incorporate that exercise into the uh, one two three one two C exercise that I taught last time. Uh, one two three one two C. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. Um, we're not introducing them to the uh, to the to the uh, one three five uh, configuration for a basic chord yet. We're just getting them used to having fun on the keyboard and making sounds. They should start to notice some similarity. There's uh, the C's are one octave apart. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb, thumb, pinky, pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. It's a fun exercise. Again, keep your time short with the children. Make it fun. Use a size appropriate keyboard for their span. Um, as you start to develop this exercise, I'm sticking with the roots and I'm starting to rock the roots also which might start to uh, let the child start to hear, hear the motion of the music. I guess I could do it blocked, but I like the idea of creating a little motion because there's some ways we play piano where we we rock the chord a little bit to create some motion in our music or to, to uh, give, uh, give some rhythm to our music. So I'm just sticking with the uh, one octave spread on the C right now. You can start on other notes if you like as you get this uh, exercise under your fingers. As time goes by, we're going to start to move. We're going to stay rooted on the uh, on the C. I'm going to stick with that scale primarily. Uh, we're going to stay rooted on the C with our pinky or our thumb, and we're going to start to move the other finger to some of the other uh, important notes we have, like the five. So when, uh, when we do the pinky thumb, we can still stick with pinky thumb, but when we go to the, uh, the five, we can still say pinky thumb and slowly start to introduce that that's the five in the chord. Again, it gives the music some motion and they start to hear uh, the two notes that identify a major chord, the one, the three we'll introduce later, and then the five. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. I'm just getting them used to seeing some motion, really. We have to start to introduce the five later, and uh, naturally we're going to, at least I, in uh, my presentation, I like to alternate between the four and the five, and then uh, start to introduce the six also to, as the uh, relative minor. But right now, let's just stick with the pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. Gives it a little motion. Pinky thumb, pinky thumb, pinky thumb. And I stick with the C. Uh, the uh, C uh, scale and the C chords to start with because they're the simplest and we're not going to have any uh, sharps or flats to deal with. But anyway, that's Papa Jim for today. Pinky thumb, and we introduced before one, two, three, one, two, C, C landing. So we can introduce. You can start to introduce that as a set. Pinky thumb, and then one, two, three, one, two, C. And look at one of my other videos if you need to be refreshed on that. But that's uh, that's Jim for today. We'll see you again. Thanks. Have a nice day.